Hi and welcome. Today I'd like to show you a few of the beautiful fall touches that I've added to my kitchen for this season. This includes the hutch that I've decorated and a few other vignettes that I've added to my kitchen counters. I hope that this inspires you to add some beautiful fall touches to your home so that you can enjoy them throughout the season. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, give me a thumbs up so I know this is content that you enjoy and that I can add more similar to it in the future. And with that, let's get started. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am fortunate enough to have a built-in hutch that matches the rest of the cabinetry. For years, I didn't decorate this at all and I just stuck glasses and dishes in it without giving it a second glance but I've really enjoyed over the past couple of seasons adding seasonal decor to this and it's really the center point to my kitchen. I'll just take you on a quick tour. This scale was given to me by my adorable next door neighbor and even though it's vintage it is not antique and I wish there was a way I could make it look just a little more antique. Sitting next to it I have the flower sifter that belonged to my husband's grandmother and I think that's so cool. And I paired it with this tobacco basket that came from Walmart that was just filled with some florals and um, I added the metal word from the Dollar Tree it came in a three pack with welcome, harvest, and thankful. Just have some canisters and a few pumpkins on that top shelf. Moving down to the next shelf, I have a few more pumpkins and some thrifted vintage plates and a couple of cute little teacups that I added some wooden measuring spoons that I recently picked up at Hobby Lobby. In the center, I have this antique cheesecake platter that you've probably seen on my channel before. I absolutely love this piece. Um, it's from the early 1970s. And sitting next to it is just a Dollar Tree cloche with some pumpkins and I added a different base to the cloche. So that's a quick hack for you if um, you pick one up at the Dollar Tree. This pumpkin is one of my favorites. It was from Big Lots several years ago and it says in everything give thanks. Um, several times all around it and this is just one of my favorite favorite fall decor pieces. On the bottom shelf I have my <laughs> favorite find the Ozarks Pure Honey crock and another crock with some wooden spoons in it and these little jars are candles that came from the Dollar Tree this year and I thought they looked so super cute in my hutch like they were jam. Um, they do say Mason on the jars. Then I have just a few cutting boards that I was able to recently pick up and this glass pumpkin. It's actually plastic um, but it looks like amber glass so I thought that was pretty cool and just a pitcher and a Dollar Tree vase that I DIY'd to look like an old milk container. On this bottom shelf which is an open shelf I just have some vintage plates that were thrifted, some wooden beads and a dough bowl full of lots of cute little pumpkins. Um, this cutting board was a really great find recently at one of my favorite thrift stores. Seems like every time I go in there I just find the most awesome things and that cutting board is definitely included on that list. And then I have a white pitcher that came from Target mixed with some other um, wooden beads that I strung and put together.
so that is how the hutch turned out. I struggle at times to keep it balanced between looking too cluttered and also including everything that I want to put in there without it looking empty. That's a tough challenge, so if you have any tips on how to decorate your hutch, making it not seem so cluttered but also not looking empty, I am totally open to suggestions. Moving along to this desk area next to my hutch, I just added my favorite cookbooks with a bowl of potpourri, cute little pumpkin on a stand. I picked up this pumpkin recently at Hobby Lobby, and just some wooden beads. Next to it I have this sign that I DIY'd that was inspired by something I saw recently on the Kirkland's website. Um, it didn't turn out as well as I had hoped, so I'm considering remaking it um, to look a little more like my inspiration piece. And then I just have it paired with a vase that I picked up recently at Hobby Lobby, as well as an amber vase that was from TJ Maxx. Here on the other side of my kitchen, I put together a small vignette on my antique scale that came from my grandparents bakery and I just absolutely love this. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to decorate it but I realized I could decorate it kind of like I would a tiered tray and that opened up the possibilities. So I have this lighted pumpkin from Hobby Lobby and a vase full of the weirdest flowers I've ever seen but they just are so fun I had to <laughs> include them. Those came from World Market and my Scentsy Pot and just a Harvest Pumpkin sign. I know this isn't part of my kitchen, but I wanted to show you that I've made some changes to my front room. I just was not happy with how it had turned out and I have redecorated this more times than my poor husband can count. So. This is how my entry table turned out. Just a cute basket of pumpkins and some pillows. I added a lantern that I DIY'd and some flowers in some thrifted vases. Here are my sweet babies. They came to help out. On top of the piano, I softened it up a little by adding some more muted colors these candlesticks with some pumpkins on top, that fall sign that I had up there before that I just love, and I added in some pumpkins in a wire basket with some blue and white hydrangeas to just pull together all of the colors. On the love seat, all of these pillow covers came from Amazon as well as this woven throw that I think is just really beautiful. Finishing things off, I just have some blue peonies in a vase that I picked up at the Dollar General next to this painting that's just lovely and has important meaning to our family. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you are having an amazing time decorating your home for this fall season. With that, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.